This is Football Club do Porto. The biggest team in Portugal as well as one of the biggest teams in Europe is the most well decorated team in Portugal with 83 trophies as well as being the only team to have won at least one trophy in every competition they've played in. This includes two Champions Leagues, two Europa Leagues, 30 league titles as well as many other trophies and this is one of the reasons why today we're going back to the past and look to the present to make the best past and present Porto team. And if you enjoyed seeing this content, make sure to leave a like and comment what other team you want to see me do next. Maybe Madrid, maybe Barca, maybe AC Milan. Let me know. Also, make sure to subscribe and enjoy the video. All right, now moving on to the team. As you can see by the bench, these are the players that are not making the team. As you can tell, there's many different cards, there's many different players that we've seen before, the current presently in the club. It, it's just it's just beautiful to see. Now, starting off a goalkeeper, trust me, I really want to put the Okocha in the team because, again, I just love the guy. He's, of course, our, our keeper right now. He's very promising. I can guarantee you one day he's going to be one of the best keepers in the world. But I had to go with Ike Casillas. Of course, for, for many, the best keeper of all time. For me, for sure, the best keeper of all time. I was very fortunate to see him play without jersey on, of course. And yeah, I mean, I won't put the Ocosta, but Ike is just an icon of the game. So he played for Porto, he's in our team goalkeeper, Ike Casillas. Now, moving on to right wing back spot. There's not many players that can actually play the right back, right wing back spot uh, that play for Porto in this game. But it had, it, it had to be either Danilo, uh, Manafa, or Diego. Dalo. Of course, he played for Porto before. He was really good for us. I still remember him. He went to AC Milan, now United. Playing pretty damn decent United as well as our national team. Um, yeah, he has to be all right back. And there he is, right back. Dio Dalo, 88 rated. Now, the three center backs. I was very indecisive on who to put here at center back. I was going to be, go to a fourth back. But there's one man I could not leave behind. I was trying to make this team the best possible pass and present port team, so the highest overalls in the team. But I, I could not go a pass and present port team without this man in the team, which we'll see in a second. But for now, the first center back in the team is going to be none other than Ricardo Carvalho. World Cup version. He's here, he's in the club, he's in the team. Ricardo Carvalho, of course, he's played many games for Porto. He's a legend for Porto, a legend for Portugal. One of the best center backs we've ever seen. 116 appearances for Porto. He's just had to be in the team, of course. I'm glad that EA actually put him in the, in the in FIFA this year because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to have uh, Ricardo Carvalho in the past and present Porto team for ages. But he's finally here. He's our first center back. Moving on to the next center back. He's the man that's absolutely killing right now overseas at Real Madrid is none other than Eder Militão. He was just absolutely amazing for Porto. I loved him when he was at Porto. You could see how much talent he had when he was playing for us. He can play center back, he can play on the wing back spot. He was just unbelievable for us. So he has been a team, of course, team of the year. Highest overall, 94 rated. First in as well, it is just beautiful over here. But now the main man of the defense, of course, you cannot go past and present team without him is our 40 year old, our captain, our veteran, is none other than Pep. Man, I love this man with all my heart, man. He's definitely the player that gives the most for the team. I mean, just this weekend against Gil Vicente, he was playing striker, he was playing center back, he was playing right back, he was playing everywhere. We're nine men down and this guy was just everywhere. At 40 years old, he was giving everything for the badge if only every other player in that pitch did the same but it had to be him and now i hope you understand why i had to go with for the five at the back otherwise if it was the best possible possible support team it had to be a four at the back with Eder and Ricardo Carvalho but i had to fit in Pep because he's just might as well be 99 Raiders just make him 99 Raiders yay but well now moving on to the left wing back we have Alex Telles there was a lot of options. I mean, there should be a lot of options uh, for left back for Porto, but there's not really high rated ones. Of course, there's Telus, as you can see, there's Alexandro and some others, but none of them are high rated. So Telus is going to be a team. Again, there's not much to say about him. He's just, he was incredible for Porto. 
Peruba for us. Didn't have a good spell at United, but now went to Sevilla. He's doing okay over there, but the Telus I remember is a beautiful Telus. He used to play on the left side. He used to go up, down, taking free kicks, scoring free kicks. The, the crosses, he, he was just in amazing for us. Amazing for us. Now, moving on to the three midfielders. As you can see on the bench, we have Daniel Pereira uh, here. We have Ruben Neves. We have Uribe. We have Herrera. We have quite a few midfielders on the bench. The main guys, though, on the actual team is, of course, still. He's been the best CDM in the world for a long time. But he still is the best CDM in the world, Casemiro. Porto had him for one season when he left Madrid to come to us for one season. He absolutely killed it at Porto. Scoring bangers after bangers, free kicks, being a rock, a wall in the midfield. He, he was just insane, insane. I wish we kept him, but he had to go back to Madrid. And of course, he won five Champions Leagues, just won this week uh, a trophy for United. He's just the best CDM, maybe of all time. Who knows? Who knows? And I'm just glad he was at Porto for a little, a, a little while. Now, moving on to the two center mids. These two center mids are players that I wish stayed at Porto for longer. Unfortunately, a lot of talent made them go elsewhere. It's, of course, Fabio Vieira and Vitinha. I wish they stayed at Porto. We could have re really used them this season as we don't have a, <laughs> a very deep squad. But Vitinha and Fabio Vieira. Vitinha doing better than Fabio Vieira. Uh, right now in real life, but they're just incredible. I mean, to see them play in real life, you just have to be there to see the, how talented they are. It is just full of talent, very promising for the future. They they have to be in the team. Of course, two future stars, 89 rated. That's the midfield. Casemiro, Vitinha, Fabi Vieira. Just beautiful to see, man. Just beautiful to see. Now, up top, the two strikes, the two main men. I wish there was a Jackson Martinez, because that's my guy. I love Jackson Martinez back in the day when he used to uh, play for Porto. But there's one man that I just love with all my heart. I love Jackson Martinez, but this guy was the first guy that made me love foot, uh, football. This guy right here, as I'll show you in a second. Radamel Falcão. He was just insane. El Tigre Radamel Falcão. It was just crazy, man. I, I remember being a little kid watching him score bicycle kicks. Uh, just acrobatic uh, goals, headers, even though he's not even that tall. He's 5'10". He was just insane. He, he was, I'm pretty sure he was named best striker in the world at one point. Uh, I don't think it was at Porto then. I think it was at Atletico Madrid. But he was just insane. Unfortunately, injuries kind of, you know, took a toll for his career. So he, he, he wasn't as good as he could have been but he was just amazing for Porto he, he was the guy that made me love the game of course Cristiano Ronaldo was one of them but Radama Falcão was my guy of course he wore on our, our jersey number nine possibly the best track I've ever watched play for Porto and lastly but not least we have God himself Medi Taremi He's just crazy. Doesn't matter what people say. Doesn't matter if they call him a diver. Just cry about it, honestly, Bifika fans. He's just the best track in the lead, no doubt. Season after season, 30 plus goals, assists. He's just crazy, man. He's just crazy. He's the main man for us. He scores, he assists, he does everything. He plays in the wings, he plays in the middle. He goes back to get the ball back. He's just crazy, man. I, I love him. I love him. I hope we keep him for much longer because he is a big part of our team. But who knows? Hopefully, he can score some goals for us. We're going to play one game and see how this team does, okay? So next time I see you, we're going to be doing some gameplay, all right? See ya. All right, so one game with the past and present Porto team. Hopefully, this ref is not being paid by Benfica like many others in, you know, the current league. But hopefully, we can win this game. Hopefully, we can do well this game. Uh, as you can see, the team we're playing against, this is the foot champs qualification, so it should be good. Uh, well, let's see if the team plays well. Oh, Pep, close. That's a foul? Oh, no. Is he going to pass or is he going to shoot? I think he's going to shoot. 
Be dangerous. Come on, boys. So let this guy score here. Nice, nice block. Oh, come. What is that? It's a free goal. Are we missing that? We cannot miss those. Oh, who we have though? Falcão Vieira. And that's a 1 0. Fabio Vieira, the youngster, with a goal. Look at that beauty. Falcão with a little dink to Fabio Vieira and an easy finish. Boss, I think that was Van der Sar goal. Let's go. 1 0. Oh, he has a run here. Benyan on the ball. Can Kakase saves us again? Oh, I cannot. 1-1, one, one. of course the rat scores. It's fine, it's fine. We can make a comeback here. We're playing, we're playing well, we're playing well. Beautiful. Try and find something here, boys. Nice. See, that's too many players in the middle. Fabi, come on. Come on, Fabi. Casemiro, 2-1. The CDM. He defends. He passes. He scores. The best CDM in the world. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a beautiful play. Can he get the ball, though? Oh, Vitinha. Nope. No, just off the line. Oh, he has Mbappe, though. Is that, was it not offside, though? No, Pepe has the ball. It's always Pepe, man. That's why he had to be in the team, bro. Even in FIFA, he plays like a 99 rated card with passion. Oh, Casemiro, this is beautiful. Can he chip the keeper? He can Easy. chip the keeper with two goals. It's 3 1. It's Casemiro again. What a beauty. What a beautiful CDM. Is this the rage quit? It is a rage quit. And just like that, the past and present FC Porto team makes a dub. And that is it. The past and present Porto team is done. Let me know in the comments what team you want to see me doing next. Apart from that, thanks for watching, see you next time, peace out.